As the London riots of August 2011 took hold, people in Greenwich burnt down the pub they drank in and looted the shops where they bought their food. But as the disturbances died down, antisocial behaviour in the area continued. Greenwich Council needed to find a way to stop the problem minority from destroying their own community. We believe that the very shutters that were ripped from their runners could be part of the problem. Could we turn the shutters into part of the solution? We wanted to conduct a social experiment. In 2009, a team of scientists in Pennsylvania found proof that the large head, round face and big eyes so beloved of Disney actually motivates caring behaviour in adults. They proved that cute matters to the brain. If I was in local government, I know it would be a lot easier to say I'm getting more police out there than to say I'm painting a few shutters. And I think we need to work to build confidence that these kind of interventions have their role, that they work and they have their role, and get them taken as seriously as hard interventions which are expensive and in the past have proven not to work. Could the power of cute minimise antisocial behaviour in Greenwich? After a campaign to recruit local babies and a long night painting, our shutters were resplendent with cute babies' faces and our experiment had begun. Since our experiment started six months ago, none of the shutters have been vandalised and the locals are enjoying feeling much safer. If you've got positive images around, it makes you think positively. They are amazing! I think there should be more of it. Yeah, I think it's a good idea and it looks good. And it didn't take thousands of pounds or hundreds more police just a few cans of paint. The people of Greenwich have shown an overwhelming love for the babies and the shopkeepers have embraced the idea as their own. And before long, communities all around the world were talking about it too. Because when you understand human behavior, it can be the tiny changes that have the most powerful effect. This could be the dawn of a new era in crime prevention.